<laughs> well, nothing like a third try at trying to get this entire video up here. And so I'm not even going to share this yet in hopes that I can get this to stay solid and you can see everything about it. So here we go. Welcome to our Allegria story. This is a story of pure joy. I'm excited to share with you how two different legacies have come together and converged into something amazing. And I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get started. I want to tell you that I am here at Faith Home Honduras. In sheer 2021 style, I got all the way to Faith Home with a negative COVID test in Indiana. And then when I tried to test to get back home, guess what? I've got COVID. Let's just have fun with that little feature. Mm, no, moving on. So I'm stuck here for an extra two weeks in Faith Home, but this is turning into some hidden blessings and you'll get to see that as you stay connected. But let me introduce you to Faith Home by introducing you to my mom and dad and let them tell you about their start there in 1998. Hi, a few months ago, there was a hurricane that hit Honduras. There was great flooding and people were forced from their homes to higher ground. We received messages to pray. Some of the children who first came to Faith Home after a hurricane once again returned with their young families and Faith Home was once again their refuge. As we prayed, contacts were made with alumni and there were even dramatic rescues. As the waters receded, most went back home, but the need for jobs for young mothers parenting their children was apparent. When Martha and I went to Faith Home, we arrived in April of 1998. The property was under construction and there were no children or staff there yet. But within just um, less than a year, there was staff, there were buildings ready, and the first family of three arrived on February the 26th of 1999. A little bit later, just a, a little over a month later, another family of five arrived on April the 30th of 1999. When we arrived at Faith Home, we went with the vision to remove the obstacles from the children's daily struggle to survive in order to allow them and help them to become all that God intended for them to be. As we look at what Sarah is doing with this um, new venture in Honduras with some of the alumni from Faith Home, one of the girls from that very first family and one of the girls from that very second family are involved. And this is the fruition of the mission of helping these children grow into adults that can provide for their families. And we're praying that this will be a great blessing to these families and to these children. That is our prayer. So as you can tell, this was something amazing that got started in 1998, but it's not the only thing that started in 1998. Also in 1998, I became a part of Premier Designs Jewelry and for the next 23 years, I represented a jewelry company that was founded to give back to missions. So missions have just been the center of both of these stories as they've gone forward. But we did not completely stay apart. See, we got to take a trip to Faith Home in 2004. And here's our little young family. You see my pretty little girls there. They're so tiny. And Randy and I were a little younger and a little skinnier too. But check out the beautiful faces. Do you see the young woman, young girl sitting next to Jenna? This is Odeline Garcia. We met her on our trip. She was one of those children that mom and dad were talking about that came to Faith Home as one of the first families placed there. Now, hang on to that. We'll come back to Odeline. Let's, though, talk about 2020 because it's, it's definitely the place where lots of things kind of came crashing down. And one of those was Premier Designs turning into Devoted, a marketplace with a mission, and then at closing, December 1st. Many of you watching this walked that journey with me. And you know how excited and enthused we were to have our company, Premier Designs, that always gave back to missions, partner up with 24 other companies that were not giving to missions, 
they had a mission. These companies were all giving to different projects, but also providing jobs, creating jobs, helping people that were very susceptible to things like human trafficking um, and just didn't have opportunity. And it, it broke my heart on December 1st when it became evident to us that we no longer were going to be able to do this because Devoted was closing. And so I asked God, what you, what you do this for? What's going on? Why would you get us all excited about, about Devoted and then have it close so quickly? And many people have found new missions and new callings because of that. So I do know that God had a plan. But I reached out. I reached out to my dad. I reached out to those involved with Faith Home still because mom and dad have retired and they've gone home um, and are retired and living in Indiana again, but they still serve on the boards. So they're still active. And I reached out to Tim Horner. And through those reaching outs, Tim allowed us to have a seed of the jewelry that we needed to get started, the components we needed. And a beautiful lady, Gretchen Julius, worked with me to help design this first collection. And so let me introduce you to Alegria Accessories, Everyday Accessories Creating Joy. This is a handmade jewelry company based out of Honduras, employing our Faith Home alums, creating beautiful jewelry just for you. Now, let me bring you back around to Odeline and let her tell you about the start here of Alegria in Honduras. Hello everyone, my name is Odaline Elise. I am one of the ex-Faith Home alumni. I have been out of Faith Home for seven years now and God has helped me a lot and we have overcome many challenges together. And one of the challenges that we have overcome is um, getting decent jobs. In Honduras, it's rare to get a decent job and it's challenging to get a good job. And as you may notice, Honduras was hit in on November the 4th. We were hit by a five category hurricane, not only one, but two category hurricane. And it was so devastating. And there's a lot of people in need right now. After the hurricane, job opportunities has been very, very low here in Honduras. And there are many women in need. And there is when Alegria Accessories Company begins, a visionary company that will provide help and job to those women in need. I am very glad to be Alegrias Accessories Manager here in Honduras. And I believe that with faith, persistence, and with your help, we will be able to empower many women here in Honduras. Thank you for being part of Alegrias Accessories. Are you as excited as I am? Can you hear her passion? Can you see that smile? I got to experience this smile. Well, not the smile all week because we had masks on, thank goodness. Uh, but her passion, Erica's passion, and Elizabeth's passion, their work ethic this week has been amazing. They have created some beautiful jewelry for you. So are you ready to see what's been created? Let me tell you about our spring 2021 premiere collection. <laughs> What do you think? Is it beautiful? I love it. We've had so much fun creating it for you. So the AllegriaAccessories.com website is live and ready for you to shop. But I need to tell you there are a few things you need to know. First of all, there are limited quantities of every piece of jewelry because we are only ordering certain amounts of things and we only had certain amounts of things to get started. So we created everything we had 
and we put it on the website and when it's gone, it's gone. So there are some things that only have maybe 30 pieces available. So if you see something ever on the Allegria Accessories website that you love, you need to grab it quick because it is not going to be there for very long. When it sells out, it's gone. And we will have constant new things being added to our website for you to shop. Well, there's another fun thing because I am stuck in Honduras until the 27th of February. That means the jewelry is also stuck with me in Honduras till the 27th of February. We were planning to start shipping on Monday. Instead, we will start shipping on Monday, March the 1st when I am home in the frigid. Uh, well, but it'll be March. Maybe it won't be quite so cold. So we want to offer a special for you. First of all, shipping will always only be $4. Um, through AllegriaAccessories.com, but every time you place an order $50 or greater, your shipping is free. Yay! Shipping's not much, but I don't like paying for it. When you, though, jump in this next two weeks and place a pre-order, because we can't ship until I get home, so two weeks, you can also qualify for this Founding Joy Creators, that's you, pre-order special. Place a $100 pre-order any time during these next two weeks, and you are going to receive a coupon code for free shipping on any order you place in 2021 just for jumping in and being part of the launch of Allegria Accessories and placing a pre-order here. So I cannot wait to see what we bring out next. There are other ideas already in process. We're in the works, and we will be bringing it to you soon. There are things that you can do, though, to help. Of course, jump on and shop. When you shop, you're creating jobs. When you shop, you're creating joy. But also, you can share. Share from our new business page. Allegria Accessories has a Facebook page. We will have an Instagram account. We have a YouTube channel. Those will be ways that you can stay up with what's going on with Allegria. Bookmark this and share our website. Take pictures and tag us. Let other people know that they can be a part of creating joy in Honduras too. Well, with that, Thank you so much for being a part of this and for sharing this and helping us create joy here in Honduras through Alegria Accessories on our founding Valentine's Day 2021.